Pronto Forms. So when you open up your Pronto, you're going to click on your Destination tab. And I'm just going to show you a couple examples of how to uh, go in and out of these. Um, so we're going to do a top load washer. Then it asks for your quantity. Then it'll ask you for a make and model. So let's just put in uh, GE. And this is just an example, so you're actually going to have real numbers when you do yours. Then it's going to ask you about your diagnostics, whether or not you checked everything, which should be done mandatory in every job. And that's going to ask you some other questions here uh, regarding other things that we do pretty much every time we connect. So you'll just read through these and make sure that everything was done properly. <clears throat> and if you notice here, washer dryer, um, front loaders, if you have pedestals or stack, you're going to want to make sure that you call for authorization since that's additional service. And then next we're going to do uh, a dryer. So you can go back into your main menu and pick whether or not it's electric or gas. So we'll do gas. And again, quantity. It's going to ask you for make model. And I'm just going to use a sample again. <clears throat> and select all that apply. You're going to read through these and just make sure that everything was done properly. And then again at the bottom there you'll see index. You can go back again and let me just fill out, uh, we'll do an ice maker. Again make and model. <clears throat> Check all that apply. Again, this is the same thing. You're just going to read through these and make sure that you did everything the way that you're supposed to. And obviously not all these always apply as well on the other two. <clears throat> and then at the bottom there, there is a thing for winter weather policy. If you're being asked to set it up the same day, if you had a disclaimer signed, all that stuff, you can fill that in. And then we'll go down and we'll do a crate. And there's a lot of other sections here that you'll see too. And as you get more comfortable with the phone, you'll see how easy it is to navigate through these. Alright, so we got a crate in there. Hit index at the bottom, it's going to put you in the main screen again. And you can go down to the bottom here, the sign off page. We're just going to use a sample number again, U1. Here I usually put the shipper's last name. You have your signature page where you're going to put your initials. Tech 2, if you have a guy on site with you, you can put in his initials. And at the bottom it's going to ask you for a shipper email address and signature. So we're just going to put in a sample email here. And then right above that is the sign off where you'd have the shipper give you their initials or signature. And at the bottom right there, you'll see the send tab. Once everything's completed, you just hit send, and it sends the